going on boys welcome everybody back to another review foot birthday in my opinion has been an absolutely sick promo today we're going to be looking at another uh, past arsenal lad he used to play for arsenal i think he still technically is owned by arsenal i think he's on loan now as an arsenal fan i mean the 4-2 win over tottenham where terreira did get on the score sheet probably one of his best performances for us i know he went through a patch but i'm just you know i wouldn't mind picking this card first owner because not only does he look insane for only forty-five thousand coins i mean as an arsenal fan i've got that arsenal bias obviously but lads if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe but let's get into it boys today we're going to be looking at a card that is five foot five so he's a smaller card medium high work rates which is telling me to play him defensively he's got the five star skill moves with a three star weak foot 84 pace isn't bad we did go for the anchor so he does go to 89 pace his dribbling is phenomenal 96 agility 98 balance five foot five this man is going to feel incredible on the ball i'm honestly getting like the serie a i'm getting a euro Uruguayan Kante vibes from this card. Defensively as well, with the anchor, it goes to 99 stand tackle, 93 awareness with 94 slice tackle and 96 interceptions as well. He's got some good strength for a little man. He goes, he, he gets a plus 10 with an anchor to 86 strength. He goes to 99 aggression. He's got 93 stamina. Sadly, no trace, but lads, 40,000 coins for this card looks like an absolute steal. An absolute steal. He's got all of it, like, he ticks all of the boxes that you want to have ticked for a meta card. Five star skills is 100. 100% a bonus, but work rates, bang on. Pace, more than enough. Passing, very solid. Dribbling, sensational. Defensive, and sensational. Physical-wise, incredible. Man, this guy looks insane, boys, and we could have a very, very hidden, a very good, cheap hidden gem on our hands. Let's get into the review. Right, boys, let's get into it. Now, I did forget to mention we're going to be playing him as a CDM in a 4 triple 2 a right CDM paired with Lofar. Now, we have two formations. Our defensive one is 4 4 2, so he'll be a center mid in that one. But when we go attacking, we're going to have him in a, as a CDM in a 4 triple 2. He's a type of card that will be playing as a center mid or a CDM. I'm actually so excited. He's going to be very little, but he's going to feel amazing on the ball. Genuinely, really excited to try this card out. And I've just had another look at his in games, and bro, I cannot find a single thing wrong with this card, boys. So, right, we're going to start off defensive. He is, a v okay, he's very, very little, especially compared to the likes of Graven Birch and stuff like that. So, I mean... Uh, it can come in as handy, I guess, you know, being a, a little type of player. Um, very similar to Kante. Now, let's test out that dribbling. Oh, my days. Nah. Bro, if you got Okay, he loses a ball. Don't know what happened there. But if you guys have played the mystery ball uh, game mode and you've had the dribbling boost... That's how I can describe this man's dribbling, bro. It feels like he's got the dribbling boost on him at all times. By the way, the fact we've gone 1-0 down there is absolutely horrific. I'm, I'm literally out of it. I'm not paying attention. But either way, I, I don't know what Yashin's doing there. So, hey, you know what? Let's just focus, boys. Let's get back into the game. Back to Torreira. Just progress the pitch. That dribbling is sensational, man. It's, it's, it's like probably the best dribbling I've used on this game. Because he's also got the short and lean body type. Time back for Neymar. Beautiful. Neymar? Oh, you know what? If Neymar could have scored that, that would have been an assist for him. But I love Torreira in the fact he's very little. He can he can contribute a lot defensively. But he's also got that body type and the agility and balance to be able to get forward and run forward and, and, and you know, spark an attack or something like that. When's it back? Torreira. I'm going to go all the way. Let's cross that into Felix. Boys, Torreira. Take a bow, son. He wins it back, and then he goes ahead. He runs through very, very fast, and and once his dribbling and agility is so good, he feels a lot faster than 84 pace. Even with an anchor, he feels faster than 89 pace in-game. That's an assist to him already, lads. We love it. He's so good. He He's genuine. He's a Uruguayan Kante. He, he feels so, so similar, and not even like gold Kante. He's miles better than gold Kante. He feels like a... Uh, Team of the year, Kante, even. He, he is absolutely ridiculous. And here we go, boys. 3-1 up, just like that. Is my opponent gone? See you later, mate. I believe he is gone. No? He's going to stay? All right, he's going to stay. All right, that makes it interesting. Nope, he's gone. All right, let's get into the next game, boys. What a brilliant start from him. Honestly, that's one of the best debut performances I've seen when I've done a player review. He was absolutely unreal. We're facing someone else with this Torreira. That is actually awesome to see, man. Awesome to see. Lads, this card, like, genuinely was ridiculously good. It's so hard to explain. Like, so he's so little, but his ball control is amazing. He's going to be so hard to tackle. But he's got 84 pace. Chuck an anchor, he goes to 89. Once he's got the short and lean body type as well, which is the best body type to have in the game, um, especially for, like, obviously, if you're 5'5", five, five, 
you want in a shortened lean. But like, this is some of the best left stick dribbling I have actually seen. He feels like he's got the dribbling speed boost on him that you get in Mystery Ball. Genuinely not even over-exaggerating. That is what it feels like. Um, and as for the assist, it was absolutely brilliant. He sprinted through. We gave that across to Felix. First game, boys, we actually haven't really had to test him out defensively. So maybe to this game will be the game where we do test him out in those defensive positions. But no, dribbling is amazing. He's definitely a card that you can play as like a box-to-box, -box, CDM, center mid. He, he, he can do it all, man. He can do it all. Go on, Trier. Once again, great dribblings. Pass that down. What a pass. That is absolutely beautiful to Ronaldinho. Torreira with an interception. We love that. And we'll pass that down as well. That is absolutely brilliant to Xiao Felix now. Xiao Felix does get tackled. I'm trying to register the uh, the ball roll, the ball scoop with uh, Xiao Felix, but it just was taking its time. But either way, Torreira with the interception. That's exactly what you want. He got the interception. He started up that counter attack. Lovely stuff. Go on, Torreira. Mark Mbappe. There we go, Mbappe, no problem for Torreira, there we go, we get to test that uh, tackling out, and it is absolutely brilliant. The thing is, it would be so annoying to face this card, because he's so little, so it's so hard to see what he's actually trying to do. Um, we absolutely love that for him, man. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so, so surprised with how good this card is, and how cheap this card is. Go on, Torreira, and hit on the counter now. I see Neymar, that is insane. Come on, can we finish this? Can we finish this? We can't finish it, man. Unlucky, lads. This Torreira card, I don't know what else to tell you, bro. His passing's ridiculous. He feels insane on the ball. His defensive stats ridiculous. Bro, what? oh, he's just dropped him. This card is ridiculous, man. He is so, so underrated. Go on, Trier, with an interception. We absolutely love that. Not the best pass down. Probably overhit that myself. But either way, he got the interception for us, which is absolutely crucial. Torreira with, with the tackle as well. Bro, this guy, he just can't stop, lads. He can't stop. He's everywhere. He's intercepting. He's tackling. He's getting forward. He, he's got some, once again, some insane dribbling. Do I have to mention again? See, tight positions like this as well. That's where you want that dribbling, and that's what Torreira does offer. Let's progress a pitch to Neymar. Beautifully played, man. Bro, look at that dribbling. That, that's so good. I know you guys are probably getting sick of me saying, look at that dribbling all the time. Go on. Torreira, oh, unlucky not, I thought, I thought that came off a keeper, but you guys are probably getting sick of me saying look at that dribbling all the time, but bro, this card is, yeah, he's something else, the fact he's 45,000 coins, lads, please do yourself a favour, please do me a favour, pick this card up, try him in your team right now, like right now, and you will be surprised with how good he is. Boys, honestly, what a performance. This card is, please just do yourself a favor and try him out. He got an assist in the first game. As for the second game, he was a menace. His dribbling, unreal. Intercepting, unreal. Tackling, absolutely phenomenal. He went home with a 7.4 rating, which, I mean, it may not seem like a lot, but he was absolutely phenomenal, lads. As for the pros and cons, Kim style, 100% an anchor. For the pros, we are going to say um, his work rates, 110%. We're going to say his five-star skill moves, his pass. Passing, his 96 agility, 98 balance, his defending, and instead of saying stand tackling, slide tackling, we'll put it all together and just say defending, 93 stamina, 95 aggression, and the body type. He's got the short and lean body type, which is just absolutely ridiculous. It makes this card so, 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 so good and so responsive on the ball. He's now dropped to 40,000 coins. This might be the most ridiculously underpriced card in the whole entire game. Please do yourself a favor. Try this card out, lads. I mean, he's just phenomenal. He's he's absolutely unreal. Um, as for the cons, there's literally zero cons. Literally zero cons. And as for the strong link, we have gone for Di Natal. Obviously, he would have linked to uh, to Vlahovic when he was still at Florienta. Um, but sadly, obviously, he has gone to Juve. So no longer he can keep that strong link. But nonetheless, man, what a card this is, boys. 110% one of the best ones I have used, one of the most underrated CDMs I have used, no doubt in my mind. 9.6 out of 10 from me, which is a very, very high rating. Hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Davis, and until next time, see you lads later.